to New to St. John, Newfoundland, and then uh, and then we crossed the ocean and we went to uh, England. Where were the Beatles from? Liverpool. Liverpool. We went to Liverpool. Wow, that's cool, Dad. <laughs> so we went to Liverpool. From Liverpool to London, then we crossed the Straits into main, mainland Europe, into uh, Brussels, and then from Brussels we went up north to uh, we're do, we're traveling on on the third class trains. That's the cheapest train you can get. And we went up to the Netherlands and and saw what the Dutch people were like, and then from there we came back to. Germany, and then in Germany, we bought a VW. Uh, we drove it right out of the factory, brand new car, and my, my buddy actually bought it. It was his car, he had the money, but for traveling, we only had $1,000 each. Wow. And so, then we went up north, and we went up to northern Germany, we went up to uh, Denmark, and, and, uh, Norway, all the way back down across. All, we went to Berlin, which in those days they had just opened the pathway to Berlin because it was the communists had it all shut down, as you know. And uh, so we went to West Berlin, and by accident we went to East Berlin, which you're not, but by that time they did not have the wall. Remember the, the great wall that they built? That, that wall hadn't been built yet. And so uh, they built that wall about oh, six months after we were there. The but anyway, we went to Berlin, and then we traveled across Germany, all the time staying in little pensiones. And uh, we, we crossed into the Black uh, Forest. The Black Forest is an incredible fall for us into uh, Switzerland, then from Switzerland to Austria, back to Switzerland. We went across the Alps, over the Alps, and came out on the other side. We went down into Italy. And in Italy, we spent about a month uh, traveling from Milan to Florence, to Pisa, to Venice, to Rome, to San Biagio, to... Anyway, we finally got to Sicily. Oh, and in cool. Sicily, we went to Palermo, Corleone. Oh, Corleone, awesome. of course, is a place where they, they uh, originated the Godfather. Remember all those movies? Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, in those days, it wasn't even close to that time. And so then uh, we stayed in Corleone for a few days with George's family who lived there. There are no cars in any place. Uh, we had to leave the car in, in Italy. And uh, so we were traveling by train. And so then we came back to Palermo and then back across the Italian Riviera all the way into France. And then we went into the French Riviera and we stayed in Cannes. Now, Cannes at that time was the most expensive place in the world, right? But we, if you go one block in, and, and, and uh, rent a little dump, which we did, you can stay there for a dollar a night. No and, way. And uh, we stayed there. We were unconscious when we were in there because we were sleeping. And then in the morning, we'd just leave. We were never there. We were on the beach. Across all of uh, France into uh, the Pyrenees are the mountains that separate uh, France from Spain. So we went into Valencia, Spain, and then to Barcelona, from Barcelona over to Madrid. And then from Madrid we were going to go south and, and cross over into uh, Africa, but we stayed there a few days and discovered that the great bullfights were going to start. Now, uh, I talked to some of the people there, and they said, oh, uh, the, you can't go to the bullfights. It's too expensive. But what they didn't realize is we had American money, and American money during the time that uh, the great dictator from Spain, Franco, 
had regressed that, the economy so badly that an American dollar was worth a lot of money in spending. Huh. You could go to a first class restaurant Whoa. and buy a, a first class dinner at one of the finest restaurants in, in Spain for 17 cents American money. 17 a, cents? A, a seven course dinner, I mean, first oh class. Oh my gosh. But anyway, we stayed for quite a while waiting for the bullfights. And they tell us you can, you, no one can afford to go to the bullfights except the aristocracy. Well, with the American money, it only cost a dollar fifty or two bucks to go. But they thought that was an enormous amount of money. And uh, so, yeah, all the rich people were there, and we saw the bullfights, and we skipped the bottom part of the trip going to Africa, and we stayed in, in, in uh, uh, Spain. And then we went across to a, the most beautiful place in, in all of, of uh, Europe, is a, in my opinion, was La Costa Brava, which is a beautiful place in northern uh, Spain. You can see the ocean. You're, you're on the ocean, of course. And uh, we went from there to Lourdes, where the uh, Holy Mother appeared. Uh -huh. And then from there, we went to Paris. and then. We crossed back into London, and then we uh, we left. We shipped the car in one one uh, freighter, and we took a different freighter and came back. And then, of course, we traveled across the United States back to our house. Uh, back to our home. So, how old were you? Yeah, how old were you, Dad? I, I planned it when I was 19. I went when I think I was 20. Is that right, boy? Yeah. And how long did the trip last? Pardon? How long did the trip last? Uh, it turned out we were going to go for a, for a six months, but it turned out that it was only four and a half months or so. Oh, okay. Okay, so it went by fast. It, it was fast. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, cool. so we're going to watch. By the way, you know, don't, don't think you're going to see a beautiful documentary. We, we shot film when we can remember. So you're not going to see all the countries, videos. you're only going to see a few bits and pieces of this and that. So, go ahead. Okay, okay. we're going to cool. see you in the next video. Alright, awesome.